Hey guys, it's Max and welcome to Animation Classroom. Today, I will tell you about the basics of animation software. Before you can start animating, you have to know the tools you have at your disposal. Most of the time, all of these software will have similar tools, but there are cases when some software don't have as many features, for example Pencil 2D, and that can be a bit of a disadvantage. So let's jump into live commentary. So today I'm going to show you the basics of Macromedia Flash 8. So once you click on the program, you'll have this loading bar. It's going to take a couple of minutes to open, but um, from what I've known, it's not that long and it doesn't really crash on loading. So that's good. So once you open the program, you're going to get this list of options. Over here, you'll have your recent uh, projects and here you'll have your new projects and these things I don't actually know. So what I've always used is create a new flash document. I've never touched the rest, but I'm assuming that you're going to use these things to make games and stuff. But uh, we're making animations, so just click on flash document and you'll get a new sort of canvas. What I'm going to show you is basically the basics. So I'll just go quickly through all the parts here. So first we have the main canvas in the middle. Hold on. If you're wondering, yes, I do have a tablet connected to this. My Huayan 420, I've made a video about it. Go check it out. So this is where you can draw. You can tell that these are the borders. When you have anything beyond the border, you're not going to see it. You can only see things within the white box. And then you have your toolbar on the left, your timeline in the top. It's where you have your frames and such. And on the right side, you have your library. If you import any pictures or sounds, it's going to come up here. You can drag and drop them. Oh yeah, you also have your effects. I only really use the library because that's where I keep my pictures and my audio. But the only effects that I use are tweens, which is like a movement of sprite basically. The reason I don't use a lot of effects is because I do most of my stuff frame by frame. And at the bottom here, you have this little arrow. You have your properties tab. I don't actually use these so I don't know much about them. So those are all the windows. So now I'm going to show you how to change your project settings. So over here on the timeline, you have your frame rate, have your elapsed time, which is basically how long the duration of your animation is. So if you double click on any of these three, it will open up a window, which is this, and you can change your frame rate. I normally use 12. Some people use 24. Some people use 15. I don't know any other, um, what do you call it? In, I don't know, frame per second. I don't touch these things because you don't really need to. You have the dimensions. If you want some HD widescreen for YouTube, you can use um, 1080p by what was it 19 1980 I, I don't know but i'm using uh, 720p which is 1280 by 720 you can change your background color i always have it on white sometimes i have it on this, this gray once you're done with all this you can make it a default so every time you open a new window you'll get the same settings or if you don't you could just click ok and the next time you open it you're gonna have to redo everything so let's go to the timeline so we have our first layer here over here on the bottom left, we have insert layer, add motion guide, and insert layer folder. I've only really used insert layers. I don't really use, I don't actually know what motion guide is. So you can select them and you can press this delete button on the right side. And you're gonna get this. Yeah, that's basically it. Over here, you have the frames itself, or you can right click and click insert frame. Or you can click over here right click insert frame and it's gonna go as far as you would like if you press f5 you can add frames and if you use f6 and f7 it's gonna open up a different kind of frame like keyframes and stuff so these layers work the same way as any drawing softwares that have layers so anything on top will be on top of whatever's underneath so i'm gonna make a shape and underneath i'll choose a different color i can essentially fill in underneath the shape so that's a way to color so we're gonna move on to the tools now on the left so you've got the selection tool which is the most basic thing ever free transform tool which allows you to uh, move things distort them select them in different ways rotate as well lasso which is another way to highlight objects text i use these sometimes brush tool 
bucket and eraser so all these tools are basically seen in uh, most drawing softwares of course there are shortcut keys and you can see them when you highlight over them so i use the brush all the time there are pens there are pencils and stuff but i always use the brush so over here you have color this bottom one is the fill color for the brush this stroke color i'm assuming is only for pencils but since I only use a brush we're gonna use the fill color all the time so over here once you click on it once you're gonna get this whole color tray so you can click on whatever you want I normally use this full black and sometimes this hashtag 33333 gray another thing you can do is you can click on this color wheel thing and it's gonna open this thing that's similar to uh, MS paint for every um, tool that you select you're gonna get a different uh, option for the brush you're gonna have your shape I always use this circle over here you can select your size so I normally use the third one from the top sometimes I use the second which is quite small so over here you've got some things you've got your brush mode which is paint normal paint fills behind all the other stuff I don't use that all the time but yeah, you can zoom in and zoom out by using Control and minus and plus. So over here on the canvas, you can drag pictures and stuff. I'm gonna look for a picture real quick. Okay, let's put let's put this girl. So you can drag and drop your stuff onto the library here. And I have this anime girl. You can drag it onto the canvas from your library. And uh, yeah, you're gonna get it over here on your screen. You can select your free transform you hold shift click on one of the corners and you can resize it into the aspect ratio so yeah you've got an anime girl and uh, yeah another thing you can add here is audio if you want to know how to get audio to animate it from you can go watch my other video quite old one how to download audio from YouTube links on the top right here so check them out I'm gonna look for an audio clip now I think I'll use this one the sound effect drag and drop you have the sensor beep sound you can drag it in so once you have your audio drag in you can see it on the top here so if you drag it around you can, you can have a hell of a sound if you go to the beginning of your frame and you press enter your frames will play so yeah that's about it with everything within this and of course on the top left here you can have your saving your files and stuff you can click save Control s always remember to save save it into a file with where you have everything here which is a good way to search it's gonna save as an fla file i'm just gonna save it as uh, testing video o underscore mix click save and uh, it's gonna save it's gonna come out up here and yeah so that was it for that video i'd just like to give a shout out to oscar ww his channel is just starting out he's got uh, 105 subs at the moment if you like animations check out his channel again like i said check out the animation classroom series if you want more from me i hope you learned something today um if you didn't you can leave it in the comments and tell me uh whatever i missed out or anything you didn't understand I can probably make another video out of it. Uh, yeah, be sure to leave a like on this video, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye. My ship was wrecked. I hit the deck and then I woke in a utopia of picturesqueness. Limp and breathless, but getting restless. I think events like this are sent to test us. The unplanned, the unreal, the unknown, the unsure, the unseen, the unshown, the uncanny that you cannot understand because it's unfathomably, unimaginably unravel.